Okay, welcome to another training. In this training, we're going to learn about um, inserting, uh, putting back the SATA power connector. Many of us don't know what is SATA power connector. Okay, this is an, an HP system. I just open it and um, this is called SATA power connector. It has combination of colors, red, black, and yellow. SATA power connector and um, it has six pins. This has six pins. There are four pins. Uh, this one is a uh, P160. You have that of P161 four pin. Now, this SATA power connector is bad. It powers the hard drive and the CD ROM drive. So, we're going to remove it. Pull out this from the hard drive, from the CD-ROM drive. You pull it out too. It's off. You have the hook here. Disconnect it. Have another hook. It disconnected. Then there's a clip. Hold the clip. There's a clip here. There's a clip. I don't know if you can see it, there's a clip, a clip here, so hold this clip gently and pull out, it's off, so this is six pin and it has um, P160, so this is bad, remove it, we got a new one, we get another new this is another new one to put it back first of all put in the one that connects to the motherboard this is the motherboard this is the board this board is the motherboard and which we know it already then make sure you put in the pin is connected then the one that moves to The CD-ROM drive, just for neatness sake, pass it through the hook, and then it goes in. The one that goes to, to the um, to the hard disk drive, pass it through the hook again, and then we connect it back. Just gently, just be careful as you're connecting it. Trying to connect. You need to be careful while pulling it. Okay, it's connected. So, you've learned how to remove the SATA power connector that is bad and how to replace it. I hope you do enjoy the training. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. And place a comment if you like the video. Please place a comment if you don't like the video. Still make a comment on how I can improve on this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.